There you go. Hello YouTube, welcome back. I'm going to be talking today about the Marlin Model 25. 22 long rifle, long or short. All right, seven shot magazine. And all uh, the long shorts and, and long rifles will feed from the same magazine, which is neat. Like I said, seven shot magazine, bolt action gun. You've got the um, small dovetail slots cut into the receiver for your uh, scope mount if you wish to do it. It's got adjustable tangent sights in the back, you know, pretty much like what you expect to find on any Marlin. Um, in terms of production dates on these guns, I haven't really been able to find a whole lot of information, although I haven't dug very far yet. I just uh, did recently acquire this rifle, but I would imagine the production of this rifle, I think they stopped making them around, I want to say 89 or so, if that's right. If any of you guys know to correct me, go ahead. Um, I know they had to have been in production since at least the late 60s to, from mid 60s because they did um, sell these under the Glenfield name and those were sold through Sears. And I know they sold a lot of guns in the 60s and 70s and probably on into the 80s too before Sears stopped selling uh, guns under that patent. Um, but anyway, we're going to shoot this thing. We're going to group it a little bit and uh, we'll see how she shoots. We're going to be firing from a distance of 25 yards. Um, this is going to be my squirrel gun for now. So 25 yards is the maximum I expect to be shooting. Uh, the first load we're going to be testing is S and K rifle match. This is German made ammunition. Really good stuff. We'll see how it does. I'm going to go ahead and run seven shots. Alright, the uh, next load we're going to test out is some of this um, RWS rifle match, also German made, so let's see how it does. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna try out some of this Wolf Mass Match Extra, Russian, excellent stuff. We'll see how it does. Um, Chad did a, a battery of tests with his 1022, and out of all the match ammunition that he was able to come across, the Wolf was among the best out of his results. So we'll see how it does in the Model 25. All right, we've gotten some uh, pretty decent results so far, considering, you know, with iron sights and everything. 
I'm going to run a group of the Remington High Velocity Hollow Point, just the Golden Bullet Bolt Pack. Just because this is a common round, you see it a lot. I don't have any Federal Bolt Pack. We are going to do a uh, rimfire ammunition shoot off here soon. I'm going to get about, I don't know what, 30, 35, maybe 40 varieties of ammunition, and we'll do a, a large series of, you know, a, a detailed series of tests, uh, hopefully as detailed as possible to, to find, you know, the best rimfire ammo for the money. Which I, I have a feeling we already know, but, you know, getting there is half the fun. All right. All right, there's our group results with the Marlin Model 25. There's the SK uh, rifle match, pretty uh, respectable grouping. The RWS rifle match. The Wolf, which printed the best group of the day. All right. And then this is about a 14 round group of the Remington. Went ahead and shot seven more into there. Not, uh, not too bad on that Remington bolt pack, but I definitely prefer the Wolf uh, match when I can get it. And that's actually what I shot that squirrel with this morning, so it performed well.